Hi, you're on the This Is Crime channel. I'm Matilda. Listen to my new story. The Tragic Story of Samantha Smith American Samantha Smith would have celebrated her 51st birthday this year, but she was gone in 1985. This girl was world famous. She was not afraid to write a letter to Yuri Andropov, whom the American media made look like a terrible and dangerous man, and even visited the USSR at his invitation as a goodwill ambassador. Why is everyone so afraid of Andropov? Samantha Smith was the youngest peacemaker, and her arrival in the USSR was called the beginning of the establishment of relations between the United States and the Soviet Union. However, two years after this event, the girl died, and many doubted that her death was accidental. In the fall of 1982, Samantha Smith in one of the magazines came across an article about Yuri Andropov, who became the head of the USSR. The author of this article wrote that Yuri Andropov could be dangerous for the United States and did not exclude the possibility that he would start a new war. The girl then asked her mother why everyone is so afraid of the new Soviet general secretary and why no one asks him about his intentions toward the United States. Her mother jokingly suggested that Samantha ask Andropov herself these questions. The girl did not understand the joke and actually wrote him a letter. Samantha's letter. A message from Samantha to Andropov in 1983 was published on the pages of the newspaper Pravda. The young American wrote the following. Dear Mr. Andropov, my name is Samantha Smith. I am 10 years old. I congratulate you on your new appointment. I am very worried whether a nuclear war will break out between the Soviet Union and the United States. Are you in favor of war or not? If you are against it, please tell me how you intend to prevent war. You don't have to answer that question, but I would like to know why you want to conquer the whole world, or at least our country. God created the earth so that we could all live together in peace and not fight. Sincerely yours, Samantha Smith. In the spring of 1983, Andropov, in a return letter, invited Samantha to the USSR to make sure that no one was preparing to start a war. Here's what Andropov wrote to Samantha. We in the Soviet Union are trying to do everything so that there is no war between our countries, so that there is no war on earth at all. This is what every Soviet person wants, child diplomacy. In the summer of that year, Samantha Smith, accompanied by her mother and father, traveled to the USSR. They spent two weeks there. The girl was shown all the sites of the capital in Leningrad, taken to the pioneer camp Artek. She met with many people, but she never saw Andropov. At that time, he was seriously ill, and it was impossible to visit him in the hospital. Before boarding the plane back to the United States, Samantha said, Let's live! Thanks to this girl, such an expression as child diplomacy appeared. Later, the young traveler wrote a book in which she told about how she went to the USSR. In it, the girl claimed that Soviet citizens are not different from Americans. She died in an airplane crash. In the late winter of 1983, Samantha visited Japan, where she attended the International Children's Symposium. After that, she began to be invited to various shows on television. August 25, 1985 Samantha, along with her father, was returning from England, where the girl took part in a popular show. In the United States, they boarded a domestic flight. The weather was literally unflightable. Due to lack of visibility, the plane did not hit the landing strip and crashed. Samantha Smith was among the dead. Since then, there has been an ongoing debate about the real cause of Samantha Smith's death. Some argued that the plane crash was staged by either Soviet or American intelligence services. Others expressed the opinion that Samantha was taken out because of her pro-Soviet statements contradicting American policy. Whatever the case may be, but according to the results of the investigation of the crash, all responsibility for what happened was attributed to the pilot who, in poor visibility conditions, 
missed the landing strip when landing the plane. If you like this story, subscribe to the channel and put a thumbs up. Look forward to more stories from the team of our channel. This is Criminal.